Hey, what's going on? So obviously it's been a while since you've heard from your last. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an update of where I'm at with the uh, Turbo Forester. So I have done a few mods within the uh, last week and um, that's what I want to show you today. So they're very simple and cheap mods, but they do serve a purpose for what I'm trying to achieve. So today I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what I've installed. And um, yeah, hopefully in the near future I can start um, going ahead with some more exterior mods and start swapping some a lot more of those parts from the old Forester onto the new rig. Anyway, let's jump into the first modification I've done. Okay, so the first modification we have is under the bonnet, so let's pop the hood and I'll show you what I've got. How awesome are those new bonnet struts? All right, so the first thing I want to show you here is the new radiator shroud I've got on the SG Forester. Now, this radiator shroud here is a APHN radiator shroud from New Zealand. Now, I managed to get onto this shroud because one of my followers from Instagram actually contacted me about it. And um, they've sort of started making these shrouds as a bit of a hobby. And he reached out to me to see if I uh, wanted to try one, which I reckon is awesome. Now, as I said, this radiator shroud is made in New Zealand. Um, it looks really high quality and I'm really happy with the finish. Um, they're really easy to install. It's literally just two bolts. Shop your old grommets out um, and then install it. What's special about this shroud is it does have this tray right here, which you can basically fit any little plastic clips and pieces like that when you're working on the engine bay. And it's actually got a magnetic feature as well. So under this portion of the shroud here, there's actually some magnets underneath, which means when you're working on the engine bay, you can actually put your tools or any bolts and stuff, put them on here and it'll hold in place really nicely. Now you can purchase these shrouds through the APHN Industries Instagram account. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. I believe currently you can get this in either black or silver, but reach out to the Instagram account and I'm sure they'll sort you out with one of these awesome radiator shrouds. Now, along with the shroud, you obviously get the hardware as well, and you get a full set of instructions as well. And on mine, I got a special note which says, hey Ignition Off-Road, thanks for choosing the APHN Shroud. I can't wait to see how it goes and to follow the rest of the build. Good luck, Alex. Cheers, Alex. It's an awesome little shroud. I'm absolutely loving it. And I really love how it looks in the engine bay. So thanks for sending that out, Alex. And remember to go check out APHN on Instagram. Okay, so while we're in the engine bay, I wanna show you another modification that I've done. Now this one is also super simple and super cheap. And essentially what it is, is the new battery isolator. So essentially this is just a switch I've added to the negative terminal of the battery. Basically, if I unscrew this switch, the negative battery terminal disconnects from the circuit, which means there's no more power running through the vehicle. Simply turn it back tight and the power is again connected. Now this I think is going to be super handy, um, particularly for my vehicle. Now, um, personally, I do not daily the Forester. It's going to be more of an expedition sort of overland off-road vehicle, which means I only take it away on weekends. Now being able to isolate the battery is going to be really handy when I park it up during the week. I'm not going to be touching it, not going to be driving it. it means I can disconnect the battery, keep the well, first of all, I'm not gonna have the issue of it randomly shorting while I've got it parked away because there's no power running through the system. 
Secondly, I'm going to be able to save the health and lifespan of the battery because it's not going to be discharging as easily um, with the battery disconnected. Um, so I think it's just a really easy, cheap mod that I've added to the vehicle and I reckon it's going to go a long way. Not only that, I reckon it's probably also a good theft prevention device because if you've got the battery disconnected through the little isolator and someone tries to break into your vehicle and drive off with it, when they realize the vehicle has no power, I don't think they're going to be jumping under the hood to see the problem. I think they'll be running away well before then. So I think there's a few good benefits of having such a simple, cheap little modification. All right, so the last modification I want to show you guys is inside the car. Now you might notice here that I've got a nice new fire extinguisher fitted to the car. Now most of you guys would probably know my last Forester um, did have an interior fire due to a short in the electronic system. Having a fire extinguisher in the car is going to be a real lifesaver, which means next time something like that happens, particularly out on the tracks, I'm gonna have something there to put out the fire. So I think this is a really important modification. I think every car should have one and I am definitely learning from my mistakes. Now this one here is a fire extinguisher and fire extinguisher bracket by Cap Industries. Now they're Australian manufacturer of fire extinguisher brackets and they make fire extinguisher brackets for pretty much every single car. Now the bracket I've got here pretty much fits all early Subarus from your early WRXs, Foresters, Liberties, all that sort of thing. And um, essentially you can jump on their website and find one there. It's a really easy to install bit of kit. It's literally two bolts. You can bolt either side from the um, front of the seat rails, pop your bracket on, and then screw it all back into place. You can either buy the bracket yourself and purchase your own fire extinguisher, or you can buy the bracket and fire extinguisher from their website. Now I'll leave a link for Cap Industries in the description below. That is an affiliated link, which means that when you make a purchase, I will make a small profit at no extra cost to you. Um, but I do think the fire extinguisher is a very important modification to have in your vehicle. So I definitely recommend you go check that out. Hey, so thank you for checking out this video. I know it's pretty short. I know there wasn't much to it. Um, but yeah, that was a quick rundown of the three modifications that I have done to this vehicle. All of them are pretty cheap and simple and serve a practical purpose. Pretty much all of the modifications were around or under $100. And as I said, they all serve a purpose and make a great addition to the vehicle. Now I do apologize, I haven't been uploading much lately. There has been a lot going on for me personally over the last few weeks. I'm hoping that I am jumping into a bit more time um, in the upcoming weeks and months. So hopefully I can really get stuck into this bad boy and get that dual range transmission put in here, get a lift kit and get all that sort of stuff going. Cause I'm really excited to get this thing out here and really start exploring in it. Remember if you want to support the channel, jump onto my fan beach account. You can leave a small donation there, which does help me out in producing these videos. So I would really appreciate if you go check that out. And yeah, other than that, Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Now you might notice here, I've got a nice new fire extinguisher. Now you might notice here that I've got a nice new fire extinguisher. Extinguisher. Now you might notice here that I've got a nice new fire extinguisher fitted to the car.